Hello, hello, back again, ciao a tutti. Today we do something very interesting, I hope so. At least I think I'm very proud of what I did and it's interesting for you, I guess so. It is my new configurator. It took us a long time to create it and uh, then in the beginning it was all a little bit uh, not the way how it is because I cannot do it myself so I had to rely on some people who are just working with the computer and they don't know about the violin. But now I think I have made a pretty good um, uh, configurator, which is not exactly like, you know, when configurating a car, because it's difficult with the wood and the model and all these options. There's so many options you couldn't imagine. So, now here I show you now how it works on the computer. I would say I open now Google and you search for Edgar Russ, right? Edgar Russ, let's say, um, let's see what is going here to be Edgar Russ. And then we have here um, Edgar Russ, violin maker, um, violincellomaker.com is the right page, which is mine, okay? Otherwise you come to some resellers and things like that. And um, I don't know how I can open, here we go. This is my website, here now it is in Italian and uh, you can also have it in English. We do it now in English, you can also have it in German. And um, be distinguished, choose the best. Um, contact me, I just close this one here right now. And if there's something about the privacy, this is by law, we have to do that. So you don't get any bomb or something if you click on this. Um, I don't spy on anybody. And here you have all the things. The shop is very interesting to see and you can even uh, listen to the instruments which are ready and they have like a headphone and you can listen to the instruments which builds up a little bit a uh, better idea for you. But if you go now to on the configurator, this is my configurator. The way how I created this configurator is actually made, not that now everybody is configurating and then buying right away, but that it is like a tool that you can learn also something. So if you take your time and you go through everything, I, I, I gave my best to, 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 uh, to show you something about it. So let's, let's, let's make now a, a dream instrument. Um, I'm just now thinking if I have maybe, uh, okay, I have like my, in my mind, I have something which I can later on show you and we do it here like this. So let's, let's choose a size. What size of instrument? You will learn about all the size. And let's say you want a, a, a full size violin, you click here on the full size. Man, let's make it a little bit more challenging, seven, eight, three quarter half size, quarter, custom. And now let's say you want a custom, a uh, full size, full size body and a three quarter neck, please. Okay, so this is something, you have a small hand but you want the full power of the instrument. Just delivered here now an instrument like this to a family in Germany and they're pretty happy with their instruments. The whole family has the same problem with small fingers, but they love a nice instrument. The son even plays the double bass. So we choose this one. So the size of the instrument, we're done, okay. Then we have the shape of the instrument, which means what kind of model you want, okay. And here there is plenty of stuff to read about all the instruments I made. And you can, uh, the Edith Steinbauer, which was a, a violin by, by um, Jean-Baptiste Guillaume, or the Guarnieri Haifetz, which I showed you recently, um, the pieces, and then the Lord Wilton, and we have the Ole Bull, the Sainton, the Isae. Oh, I, 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 let's pick up here a Guarnieri Isae, because, you know, we just want to see the Guarnieri Isae now. Now we have decided full size to seven eighths, but well, maybe you want a full size, everything full size. Now let's take the wood. And now the, regarding the selection of the wood, 
I explain you everything about the wood where it comes from and all your options you have. So you can have the wood exactly like the original or you make it, you like the large grain, the fine grain. And really, you would now say you are probably used violin makers who have a clear idea and they don't give even you the option to choose. I don't have any problems, you know, I can make out of every piece of wood I can make you a violin and if you have a, the preference for some fine grain because you love it, click on fine grain. If you think that the Haselfichte, which is definitely the best quality because it's very elastic, then click Haselfichte, it's fine, yeah? Now here we take a fine grain, come on, uh, in, uh, like something like this, even so I would probably take the wood exactly like the original. In the back here you have uh, different options and I explain you about the wood, where it comes from, things like this. All my maple comes from Bosnia and not from other areas. Um, <coughs> so here you have the choice, one piece, two piece, flames up, flames down, or the original or all flames in one direction but jointed like the Storioni made sometimes, one piece back, uh, things like this, okay? Or a special request, um, let's say we take a special request. Um, Edgar, I would like to have the back in Italian poplar, okay? It gives a very nice mellow sound. And then with the time it's pretty hard wood, yeah? The neck, um, yeah, the neck, you know, you the, the three-quarter, um, please. And then confirm the selection, okay? And you're getting already something very, very particular in this very case. And now, when it comes to further steps, uh, the more you go on, the more you understand how, how those steps actually influence the first image. Yeah, if, if somebody comes into my workshop and sees this instrument, your eye immediately goes to one instrument and, and you somehow stick on that one. And the reason is mainly because of the color of the varnish or the color itself or the, the finish of the varnish. So everybody has a different kind of taste, you know. So in, in Japan they want orange, in, in America they want uh, brown, uh, in Europe they want red-brown, uh, antiqued, and uh, you know, it, it, it's okay, and it is, I think it is also very important that the instrument exactly um, uh, matches to your desire. It's, 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 it will always be an instrument which is made by myself or in my workshop under my direction, but because I fulfill your expectations, that doesn't mean that it's not an instrument made by myself. So I think it's important. So you can choose out of um, antique, like the original, slightly uh, uh, shaded the varnish, or completely new style. And just, you know, there are some people that say, you know, Stradivari made the instruments new. So, okay, so then just let's take new. Yeah, I personally, I like similar to the original. So, and then it comes to the color, because one is the, the kind of um, antiquing and, and, and the new style, and then you have the choices of different colors, so yellow, dark yellow, orange, red, red, brown, light, red, brown, intense, red, brown, normal, and uh, brown, light brown, or a special request, you know. You can also make, please, um, please, uh, the top um, black, and the rest red, brown, let's say, okay? It's, it's all my, my, this is okay. And then you can choose the special request and then you can make the rest um, red, brown, okay? So you have this, uh, this special request and I can make it, you know? This is not a problem. So we have all these things. And then choosing the setup, um, it's true that you can uh, make the sound of the, can you hear the dog? It's at this time he's always talking with us here. Um, that some people say, yeah, but which one sounds better? Even so, I believe one sounds like this and one sounds like this. 
I just, my, my experience is that if you have an idea that this one you like better, very likely if you play it, it probably will even be nicer for you than uh, in that specific wood. So I don't want to limit myself and say, and now I only make all my instrument like this, okay? So let's take here box wood. The picture here is very dark, but usually it's a little bit more lighter. Let's take boxwood and then I like the French shaped pegs for instance. Or yeah, let's take the French so, but you know, actually today let's take the heart shape. They look pretty nice. And then a tailpiece, you know, you can have the tail shape, which is with this edge in the middle or a round. And we make a round one, okay? And then the chin rest, usually I put these small ones, side mounted ones. And, uh, or you can also have the bigger one, but then we make as a special request, um, please, titanium screws, since I am allergic on nickel, okay. Yeah, and then you have this one, and we confirm here, always confirm, and then it is, yeah, and then you have the very last, and actually, the, for me, actually the most important um, detail, the, the sound. And you would say a good violin is a good violin. It's not true. Everybody has some different um, ideas of what is more important. Um, please understand that you usually tend to go from one extreme to another. And uh, so the more you tell me about your, your, your dream uh, sound, the more I can fulfill this. And here we have quite a long list of, of, of options. Uh, it's over 10 uh, points. And, and I was thinking about this. And, uh, oh, there I see a, 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 a small deal, leicht ansprechend, which means easy responding, which I have to um, still have to adjust. But by the time you look at this, uh, it will be um, uh, here um, easy responding, okay? And uh, so we, we um, will adjust here all these things. And let's uh, say a typical Guarnieri sound, powerful, focused, and, uh, and a big sound, let's say. Okay, I like to, if you, if you just take like three, but you can also, if you, if you really uh, want now something else, EA need to be strong, big sound, easy responding, uh, strong E string. Yeah, let's take also this one. But actually, big sound, focus, powerful. Yeah, with three is fine. And if you have some more, then you just write um, my past violin has been two, and then whatever, whatever. Okay. And now. I am dreaming of, and you know, and then all the rest, you know? And then we make a selection of what you have. The more information I have regarding the sound, the better it is, okay? Um, if, if you even uh, later on, if you can send me a video of something or, or something you have heard, you like the sound, the more you tell me, the better it is, okay? It's, it's not that I'm a magic uh, now in violin making, but believe me, the more information I get from you and what you're expecting, the easier it is to fulfill your expectations, okay? I have some people who write me like a small booklet with all the information they have collected, you know? And um, usually they are very happy about it. And then here you can uh, put in your email address. Yeah, in my, in my case it is edgar at eras.it and uh, this is my office and then I am waiting to hear from you but you can also send me whatever you want okay here 
and you send it submit and then this mail goes right away to my inbox I'm trying to respond within 24 hours and sometimes even quicker okay um, as you might know I'm a violin maker I'm working on the working bench but I, I love to give you a good response and I give you a few options of of uh, options you have for this specific violin. I think this is a good way to uh, to get clearer, a clearer idea, to learn a little bit more, to understand how the whole thing is ma uh, made together. Certainly together with my YouTube channel and all the tiny details, you, you have more idea of what it takes to make such a sound, how you are dreaming of. And I, I feel very much um, that I can make your uh, dream instrument. And the configurator is something I believe turned out very well. And now on my web page, if I just open here, then you can also see here instruments exactly with this headphone up you can click on it and then you have the options to to listen to those instruments and uh, here are the three videos and uh, we're doing of all the instruments which are not immediately sold and we have here we have it like this and in uh, interesting and in times like this right now we are facing worldwide this is a good option for all of us to um, fulfill your expectations uh, I hope this is exactly what you're looking for, okay? And uh, this helps us to be closer to each other. Some people also call me up just to talk with me. They want to hear my voice. They want to know how I think about the whole thing. And I'm always open, you know. I pick up the phone whenever I can. And when I'm going to sleep, I turn the ringing off, but you will never disturb me, okay? It's my pleasure to be here for you whenever I can be able to answer the phone or write you, okay? I hope you enjoyed this small introducer, introduction to the my violin configuration, uh, and I'm working already for cello and viola as well. We keep in touch. Yes, you're right. This is my new apron and you can also purchase it on my webpage. I love it too. Bye-bye. Keep in touch. All the best. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.